Hi, this is Renette Carbon, also known as Seth Matt Rael. Today I'm going to just share with you Kako tea, a Kako tea recipe that we used to drink on a daily basis, but we had to cut back. You cannot drink too much of anything or eat too much of anything, no matter how good they say it is for you. Because um, even Kako, which is the raw version of chocolate, is really great for the body, but too much of it can be toxic. So, uh, what we do, we do it about two to three times okay. a week. So, I think we did pretty good by cutting back. Anyway, I will share all the health benefits of raw cockle with you. It's so, what we're going to do here now, I'm going to show you all the stuff that I put in there. My water just boiled, my pot of water. Um, and that's the H3O2, our spring, natural spring water. Um, we have cinnamon. We have bay leaf. We have some more bay leaf here. Well, usually what I do is boil the cinnamon, the bay leaf, and the cloves in the water. But, you know, I'm doing it just a little bit differently today just for the camera's sake. But you can do it this way also. But it's best to boil this, these three things here, bay leaf, cinnamon, and the cloves separately. Boil it in the water. And once the water is boiled, then you turn it off. And then you're going to add the um, moringa. We have bamboo leaves right here we have the real mary jane leaves i usually put purslane in this caco tea also because purslane is a multivitamin it's really really good for you but the goats ate my purslane okay <laughs> unbelievable but anyway anyway as for the mj buds you don't want to Put that in the caco tea if you're going to drink it in the morning or during the day. Why? Because the, the fat from the raw caco is going to activate the THC. And if you put like coconut milk in the caco tea, it's, the fat from it is going to activate the THC and it's going to, you're going to get high. Okay? So the best bet is to do it like before bed. You, you, you know, when you're sleeping, you're high and you're really sleeping. That's, well, it's better that way. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to just dump these into the water, the hot water that has boiled already. And I'm going to just cover it, let it steep for 10 minutes. And then, after it's, it steeps for 10 minutes, then we add, we the, add the sea moss gel. I usually use the purple one but we don't have any purple one so we're gonna add the this this one today and then also at the end we add this is the caco cream that i make you take the raw caco and you blend it up with with some h3o2 and um you have this cream you put it in the vitamix okay let me just show you what it looks like here this is the caco cream 100 percent raw you can make cookies with this brownies cakes anything and we keep it in the refrigerator so why I, I leave these two things for last is because they were in the refrigerator so you don't want to put them in the pot you know that with the the leaves okay because you want those to steep first all right so I'm going to my hand is clean but you know I'm going to put them in here as I said these I should have boiled before I usually do that but for the camera's sake and my son is very busy today I just you know I'm going to put them all in here okay this is the moringa right here and we have that and the cloves okay and let me get a spoon and mix it all down here. We're going to put that like, see, right here, this is, this, this turns out to be some good stuff. So you cover it very healthy. Um, and I, as I mentioned, you, once it's steeped for 10 minutes, then, as I mentioned, you just put the sea moss and the caco. Well, I usually put like um, one to two tablespoons of the sea moss gel, and I put like probably four or five tablespoons of the caco cream. You know, it base, it's based on how much you want in there. I like mine strong and creamy and rich, okay? 
so that's pretty much it and then you could drink it without sweetening it like my husband does but I like to add a little honey I'm gonna um, promote a local person's honey right here this is that busy's pure honey made right here in Dominica this is the good stuff this is the raw stuff with no garbage added and this is what see it's nearly done I bake I do everything with this okay have some honey in your diet on a daily basis okay and that's pretty much it this is the finished product this is our cocoa tea and my husband gonna enjoy a big cup of it pouring his coconut milk in there raw coconut milk with a little vanilla essence and a little sea moss and some sea moss in the tea also looks good huh you're not gonna sweeten it with a little honey no. Well, honey, what about some agave? Well, you can do some aga um, no organic sweetness. agave. agave. Look fresh. what he does too. He's going to put some farine, what the, also known as cassava. Right, G? Yeah. See? He likes to do that. Ew. <laughs> Seriously. But this is what he does. He likes it like that. I don't get it, but... And no, sh no sweetening at all. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you. I surely <laughs> will. All right. If this was beneficial to you in any way, hit the like button. Also, subscribe for future videos. And um, hit the notification bell when you do. And please share this video. Thank you so much for watching.